Hey, let me show you this thing. Tokyo, Japan. Comprising of over 9 million people, Tokyo is the largest city in Japan and where we'll head off on our collecting journey. But in a city as colossal and as labyrinthine as Tokyo, where do you start? In this video we'll point out some of our favourite destinations to a city we've fallen in love with. A place we visit often and with each adventure we're still finding new and exciting things. New places to explore, fun and welcoming people which embrace the abnormal while still holding tight of a rich and wonderful tradition. Because Japan is a place of two conflicting identities. On one side, the calm, serene beauty romanticised in our minds through the dreams of kaleidoscopic colour as seen in the works of Miyazaki and Kurosawa. But there is another Japan, a place of progress, ingenuity and chaotic order, and an exciting urban sprawl that extends almost into infinity. This is an unmatched, unfiltered and quite possibly the most unbelievable city on the planet. This is Tokyo, the collector's city. one place to make your priority when you are coming to Tokyo in search of vintage collectibles, anime, manga, even video games, it is right here in Nakano Broadway. <laughs> Located a short walk from Nakano Station, you'd be forgiven to think you're in the wrong area. But rest assured, follow the long arcade and even the thousands of collectors who make their pilgrimage here every day, and you'll find yourself in Nakano Broadway. An anime lover's mecca, a gamer's dream, and a toy collector's wonderland. Its dizzying array of stores which are filled to the brim with clothing, Gundam, Safubi, and even the latest in manga and American comics, it's easy to be overwhelmed by the sheer volume of items on display. Bear in mind the staff won't know much or any English, but are always happy to help. So make sure you have what you're looking for written down or use an app like Google Translate to make their job a hell of a lot easier. A little effort goes a long way and they'll respect you all the more for trying. Though Mandarake has overrun this place in recent years, nobody's complaining. Splitting their normally behemoth sized stores across all floors and sorted by category, there's a place for toys, vintage and new, manga, rare and collectible comics and even animation cells. All you have to do is look for that great red sign. Before you leave, make sure you hit up the bottom floor where you'll find the perfect escape from the blistering summer heat. Available in three sizes, you know you're kidding yourself if you don't buy the large, a towering 8 flavour ice cream which will give you brain freeze for, for days, but you know it's worth it. And then you can get back to hunting. Yeah. 
If it's American Toys you're after, you've got to get out of the city and into Kawenji, a somewhat hipster area with record stores, fashion boutiques, and just off the main strip is 2000 Toys, a place literally stacked to the roof with things like Ninja Turtles, Transformers, even Star Wars and obscure horror. This is an American collector's dream, 2000 Toys. A short six minute walk south from Koenji Station, 2000 Toys sits huddled away in a small room not too far from the busier laneways. But don't let its size deter you because as you enter you'll be greeted by arguably the largest array of western toys in all of Tokyo. Mainly 80s and 90s retro, the passion and meticulous attention to displays will have you walking countless laps of the store and discovering more treasures with each lap. The sheer scope of what's on display will send you into a state of awe as memories of your own childhood will come crashing down upon you with full nostalgia overload. Masters of the Universe, Pee Wee Herman and Care Bears and in a place like Japan where toys are plentiful and kaiju is king, it's a great breath of fresh air to see western toys showcased in such vast quantities. So, if you're in Koenji and looking for something a little out of the ordinary, head over to 2000 Toys. And another great thing about 2000 Toys is that they keep a great social media presence. So you can hit them up daily at 2000 Toys on Instagram, and here they'll keep you up to date with new stock and upcoming sales. Also a great tool for foreigners is that they have a special mail order service. So if you see something you like, Simply shoot them a DM. The next place is a must visit destination, and though admittedly hard to miss, it is the off stores. So these are book offs, which sell books, DVDs, CDs. You've got mode off, which sell clothing. You've got hard off, which sell appliances and things like that. And then the one that we're going today is hobby off. never know what you're going to find at Hobby Off. These recycle super centers are scattered all over Japan and are a veritable treasure trove just waiting to be picked clean. This one in particular is located in Kawenji, but no matter which one you visit, they're all gold mines. Though these are second-hand goods, just know that the stock has been looked over, cleaned and serviced to ensure that any electronics purchased will be in perfect working order. But that's not all. Toys range from loose to mint in box with all prices reflective of condition and rarity. Yep, you never know what you're going to find and that's why whenever we're in Tokyo, we seek them out and have extra space in our backpacks because you're bound to find something with each visit. Because if you're into Ultraman, they've got it. Rare limited edition art toys, they've got it. High-end action figures from cult horror movies, yep, they've probably got it. And climbing each floor, you'll be greeted by model kits, doll houses, even walls of loose gash upon toys. This? I don't know what this is, but someone does and someone wants it real bad. And that's why whenever we're traveling Tokyo, and Japan for that matter, off stores are always on our radar. With a dizzying array of side streets and traffic which never stops, Akihabara should be one of your first stops when visiting Tokyo. But don't be put off by the crowds, embrace the rush and explore, because that's what this area is all about. Just jump aboard the JR Yamanote line from Tokyo Station headed towards Ueno. This should take you about 4 minutes at 133 yen. 
Well, it's late in the day and it's starting to rain, but that's okay because where we're going, you don't need umbrellas. We're here in the heart of Akihabara, Tokyo's electric town. And as this town is pushing forward the boundaries of electronics and technology, we are looking back. We are remembering the days of playing Super Nintendo at your friend's house, playing Sega, or even if you had that rich kid who had the Neo Geo. We're after retro video games, and there is no better place in Tokyo than Super Potato. If you look at it one way, Super Potato is an extraordinary store, filled to the brim with consoles from the 8-bit era all the way up through to modern hardware. But look at it another, and it is a museum dedicated to our love of video games. An eclectic array of our gaming memories jammed into its flagship store, taking up three floors of the Kitabayashi building in Akihabara. Best thing about this veritable museum of our gaming heritage? You can buy anything you see, and it's bound to send you broke. Obscure gaming hardware and peripherals litter the shelves, and Japan being one of the leading developers of video games, most of what you see has never hit western shores, and there's always hidden gems just waiting to be discovered. From new to second hand, gaming consoles from the Super Famicom through to the ill-fated Atari Jaguar, these are all represented here in vast quantities. So no matter what you're into, Super Potato is the place. Hey. A Neo Geo cart that won't cost me a liver on the black market. But that's not it. You'll also find memorabilia, plush, and action figures of all your favourite characters. And while you're on holiday, why not stock up on some Nintendo themed travel supplies? But just as you're about to leave, your gaming dream awaits on level 3F. Bear in mind that this is a smoking area with little in the way of ventilation, so asthmatics or anyone that doesn't really want their clothes stinking like cigarettes for a good week, better turn back. But if you can wade through the smoke, a treasure trove of Astro and Blast City candy cabs await you. For between 100 and 300 yen, you can play arcade side-scrollers, vertical and horizontal shmups, even 16-bit classics like Bomberman and Altered Beast. And then, you can hit up the best fighting game of all time, Street Fighter 3. And if you're into an old-school arcade experience without the gashapon and UFO machines littering your holy game space, this is the closest thing in central Akihabara. And if you're into Japanese sit-down candy cabs, just try not to drool on the control panel. They frown on that. But don't forget to stay hydrated and keep that blood sugar level high with this huge range of sugar filled drinks and snacks so you can keep gaming as long as your heart keeps pumping. And oh, they sell shirts. just some of our favorite locations to find toys and collectibles in Tokyo. But with this city, there are secrets to be found within every alleyway, every corner you turn, there is a new place to discover. And we've just scratched the surface of what this city has to offer. So what are some of your favorites? What are some places that you've found that you would recommend? Have, some, have a conversation down below. We'd love to hear it. So that's our Tokyo, our collector's guide which we're hoping to make more of. So until next time, keep collecting. Hey, let me show you this thing.